Hello, welcome to Barfields here at uh, Large Thistle. It's a big Scottish Cup Junior game, Cup tie. Yep. Andrew, we're back in the, the thick of it again. Yep. So hopefully yeah. today we're going to get a, a cracking game and say Dundee North End have travelled all the way down here yep. to play at Largs. What's your kind of predictions? Um, Largs could kind of do with a win. Just now I think they're sitting down the bottom end of the league, so you know, a win could do them a bit of good, a bit of motivation for the season to come. So. They've had a couple of results recently, they've been kind of up and down at times, but they, last week again through they got a good result. And the week before, I think they drew it with Hurlford. Yes. So they are picking up, and yeah. hopefully today against a, a team from the East Coast. We've not seen many of the East Coast teams over yes. this area for a while. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a long way down for them to travel, so maybe that will give them some motivation as well, you know. Yeah. Go this way down, get a win. They're sitting probably about halfway up their league. I, think, yeah. I know Lars just now are sitting probably third or fourth, fourth just now. The, the, the league here just now, but they've got games in hand. They could pick up. Things yeah. can change quite quickly after the new year. Yeah, absolutely. You never know what can happen with these leagues. So well, I'm looking forward to this game, by the way. I'm looking forward, I always love Scottish Cup games because you get the crowds, you get the, that feeling yeah. about it. So let's go and see this game.
So you'll be happy with that result today then? Aye, aye, listen, it was all about getting to the quarterfinals of the Scottish Cup. And so it says to the boys they should be delighted with themselves. Uh, we've had a tough couple of weeks, a uh, couple of bad results, maybe haven't uh, played as well. Uh, we didn't play great today, but it was all about getting to the, the quarterfinals, so we're delighted. A dominant first half, I'd say, but then second half managed it out well, managed to keep huh? the clean sheet and get the win. Aye, that's it. Listen, I, I gave them a, a bit of dogs abuse at half time because I knew that we, did, we didn't take advantage of the pressure in the first half. We had some good chances we didn't take, and I know how that can end up. Uh, it could end up maybe drawing with penalties out, out the cup, whatever. So um, that's why I, I kind of gave them a wee bit of half time. But it came to a stage in the game where we just had to see it out and we had to be dogged and we just won more headers. and. Uh, and we got there, and I think we deserved it. A home tie for the next round as well. Aye, that's right, somebody just said Peter's Hill, which would be a very tough game. Um, but as you say, it's at home, so yeah. there, was, there was a good crowd today. Delighted to see them here. Uh, the, the supporters probably, they've not seen the best days yet this season, especially especially at home, we've not, not played great, but I'm sure they'll be delighted the fact that we're into the quarters of the Scottish, so that I'm pleased for the fans as well. Hopefully use that as a good boost as well then for the rest of the season to get some performances It's got it, it's got it. We've, we've got a big month coming up in December, a uh, couple of uh, tough league games um, to try and get us back up the league and uh, we'll get the West of Scotland Cup as well. So if, if we can finish the, this year strong, get a couple of results, then it takes us into next year with a bit of hope to try and stay in the league and we've got a quarter, quarterfinals to the Scottish Cup to look forward to as well. That's brilliant, thanks for talking to us. All right, thanks very much. Cheers, cheers guys. I hope we're at the end of the game and it's uh, ended up a cracking result for the likes of Large Thistles 1-0. Yep. But they kind of hung on there in the last sort of 20, 30 minutes. Yeah. First half dominated. I thought they were very good first half, didn't quite take the chances they could have done. Second half, they had to see the game out. They managed it very well, kept the clean sheet and got the win at the end of it. There was a couple of scary moments, especially that header just in front of the goal. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Fairness to the striker, came up with some pace, maybe struggled to get above it, keep it down, but games like this, you've got to put that away. Oh, and definitely. And, and the great thing is, Largs are now in the, the quarterfinals, so uh, yep. who knows what will happen next. We'll live in the quarterfinals, yeah. it's next March, we're going to come here to Largs, by the way. Yep. We're going to book that in, and they play Peters Hill. Yep. What an intriguing tie. Yes. Well, a home match for Largs, which you can never complain about in a knockout tie like that. No. Can you just think, two more games in yep. the final? Exactly. Yeah. And Lars could be back there. When they won it a few years back there, they could do it again. Yeah, yeah. who knows what could happen. Yeah. Know. Well, from Barfields here at Lars Sissel versus Dundee North End, Lars winning 1 0 through to the quarterfinals of the Scottish Junior Cup. From all the crew here, see you next time. <laughs>